If your ambition is to get your ex back, do not chase them. Do not take responsibility for their bullshit and do not make excuses for them. Your ex's decision is their decision. It is not a reflection of you. It is a reflection of them. But I see almost daily dumpies making excuses like, oh, they've got trauma and that's why they left me. They're stressed at work and that's why they left me. They've got X, Y and Z going on and that's why they left me. And what that really means is that, okay, I'm going to take responsibility for their bullshit so I can try to assert some control over it and then I can negotiate them back or I can out logic their feelings. Guys, this will never ever work and it has a 100% failure rate. And that's going to be the subject for today. Welcome back to The Love Fix. It's Nick, as always, doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as possible. If you need my help with your breakup situation, with your heartbreak, and you just need a direction, a waypoint, a voice in the dark to help get you through this very horrible time, smash the coaching link in the description and book your appointment with me. Or you can email me at thelovefix20 at gmail.com. If that's not enough for you, come and join the Facebook group, smash the link in the description, and come and join the wonderful community there. Right, let's get into it. Your ex is like a timid cat. And cats are very different from dogs. You can go up to a dog and it'll probably give you some attention. It, it wants you to chase it. Cats, not so much. Cats are the opposite. And just like your ex, you have to wait for the cat to come to you. You have to let it do its thing, sit in the corner, purring, licking itself, staring you out, you know, and looking at you like it just wants to see the world burn. So it's counterintuitive, but if you do have ambitions with getting your ex back, this is the best way to do it. I'm not saying they will come back. I'm just saying this will offer you the best opportunity, the best conditions to facilitate a reconciliation. And that's another story all, of it, all within itself because reconciliations are very, very challenging. In fact, most of them will fail. So I try not to get too much into the x back content anymore, but it keeps coming up and up and up. So I may as well try and guide you guys in the best way possible to try and facilitate that. Now, stop taking the x back quizzes. They're a bunch of bullshit. You can do those quizzes 10 times with 10 different answers and you'll get the same answer. Oh, you've got a 70% chance of getting your x back, so don't delay and sign up to my x back program. I'm not going to do that. I don't have an x back program. In fact, most times I will tell you, don't worry about getting your x back. Worry about getting you back. Because getting you back is win-win. Getting you back will put you in the best position of getting your x back. Getting you back will propel you to the next level even if they don't come back and what you must never do is play the role of the dumpy what you must never do is take responsibility for your ex and their actions and how they feel because i will hear this god knows how many times now nick i know my ex dumped me they're just they're stressed they've got family shit going on and blah 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 whatever okay let me validate that for one second Maybe that is contributing to their headspace and the breakup. And maybe they think that they can't give you enough right now. And maybe that is true. And maybe that is true in some cases. But the thing is, guys, when you are in a long-term, healthy, committed relationship, life will happen. Shit will happen. Things will come up that you don't expect. And the whole thing about being together is... Look, guys, anyone can do that when it's easy. Anyone can do that when the seas are normal, when it's calm sailing. But can they sail through the storm with you? When it's really, really rough, can they batten down the hatches and just sit in the mud with you and sit it out and be with you, no matter what comes along? Because I look at the old school couples, I look at people from my parents generation like my, my parents are sort of like in their late 60s early 70s now and I'm not saying that they've had the perfect relationship not 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 by any stretch of the imagination but they've stuck together through thick and fruit thick and thin through my brother my brother trying to commit suicide like three times my my sister's going through very bad relationships with their partners 
and me when I was younger when I was depressed and all sorts of things and all sorts of other life things that happen money problems family problems emotional problems personal problems health problems they stuck to it so that was a choice so when people tell me oh it's because they're stressed and it's because of work and stuff okay maybe but if they really really wanted to be with you they'd be with you and they would stick it out so my point to this is don't take responsibility for their bullshit do not take responsibility for their trauma do not take responsibility for their inability to connect with you or to let you in or to have a long-term relationship with you. Do not take responsibility for their lack of intimacy with you because they don't know how to do it or they don't know how to be intimate because they've got avoidance or something like that. And that's okay. I'm not trying to shit on your ex or the dumber or anybody. They've got their stuff going on and for whatever reason, they've chosen to leave the relationship. Now, Here's the thing, guys. When someone chooses not to be with you, when someone chooses not to be romantic with you, it's because they don't want to be romantic with you. That is the cold, harsh truth. Now, I'm not saying that can't change. That's just how they feel right there and then. And maybe they just feel overwhelmed. So let's give it the benefit of doubt. Maybe maybe they do just feel overwhelmed with life and they can't do a relationship right now. Okay. But what you must never do you must never chase, you must never be their emotional dumping ground, and you must never try to fix it for them. Guys, people do not want to be fixed. They have to fix themselves. The pain has to get so great that staying the same is no longer an option. And right now, staying the same for them is an option, because the pain isn't enough. And I probably shouldn't say this, but if you want to not inflict pain on them, but make them realize the gravity of their situation, the gravity of their pain, give them your silence. Back off. Let them deal with this shit without you. And then if they do come back, you can make a decision. If or not, they are the right person for you. You can make a decision. Will they go through the next storm with you? But but I would hope by then that... You've got to a situation where you've leveled up. You are taking responsibility for your bullshit and not theirs. And you can say, well, you know what, dude? Do that, whatever. The second the seas got rough, you jump ship. You got in the, you put the life jacket on, you got in the lifeboat and you left me here. Now, the thing is, I was angry and I was upset when you did that. But I'm still here. I got the boat back to the harbour without you. So what the fuck are you bringing to the table now? So I think maybe even this has surprised me that this video has gone in a different direction that I originally planned. But if you do want your ex back, these are the things that you shouldn't do. And also these are the questions that you should be asking if they do come back. What are you bringing to the table outside of sex? Outside of all the emotional bullshit that you brought me, what are you bringing to the table? So... Maybe this isn't an X back video at all. Maybe this is get yourself back video like most of my content is now. So, there's some questions you need to ask yourself. Are they worthy of your attention? Are they worthy of your reconciliation? It's something worth considering and worth thinking about. So today, if you're going to take anything away from this video today, I want you to step back, take three deep breaths, just soothe your anxiety a little bit and start journaling, start writing about your ex, start writing about, okay, write down their good qualities, but write down their bad qualities as as well. Could that relationship have been salvaged? What did you do, the dumpy, what did you do to contribute to it? And could you have done better? And the answer is likely that yes, you probably could have. Unless if somebody cheated or rebounded, then, you know, leave them on the street. And then ask yourself, can my ex do better? Could they Could they do better? Will they do better? Are they capable of doing better? And these are the things you must ask yourself when going through a breakup. 
because guys it's okay reconciling and some reconciliations can work but we're talking like maybe 5% of reconciliations actually last most of them will fail and trust me going through a breakup twice with the same person will you you will experience more pain than you ever thought imaginable so really think about that before you want your ex back but if you do what I said at the start of this video are the things not to do put yourself in the best possible position to facilitate a reconciliation but don't wait around for the reconciliation you get you get busy with life and to quote Andy Dufresne from the Shawshank Redemption which is probably one of the best films ever made get busy living or get busy dying now I don't mean that in a literal sense I mean that in the mindset don't hurt yourself and don't do anything stupid and if you are feeling in that frame of mind please go and talk to someone talk to me talk to someone in my Facebook group go and talk to a professional talk to your family your friends but that's the mindset so let's actually relay with that mindset get busy leveling up or get busy staying exactly where you are the choice is yours one of these choices has a great future for you the other will keep you exactly where you are stuck in the breakup mud so think very carefully about which direction you wish to go into I know which direction I want you to go into I want you to be happy, fulfilled and bust the breakup and recover and be better and be and be amazing and find better people because there's 8 billion people out there guys you'll find someone new and someone better for you and always remember you are enough you're doing just fine and I will see you on the other side <laughs>